listen, you're going to get a little haircut here in a couple of moments. Uh, we're at George's Old Fashioned Barbershop in Vanport. Your Pratt Pack, Jimmy Wayne, working the Samsung phone. Going to actually take a little off the sides. But Mark Eiper is here, guy who loves football like I do. Draft coming up this week. We're going to have a lot more as we roll through the week. Just let me give you some thoughts on what I think the Steelers' needs are. James Harrison is gone. However, the role of linebackers in the Berg may have changed a little bit, obviously because of the loss of Brian Shazier. What do you think? Well, I agree. And I think that... Uh, we have a couple other. We have we're in need of a safety. We're also in need of uh, linebacker for Shays here, which I think Marcus Davenport would be a good fill-in for that. Um, if we could talk about fixing for a moment, we could say I'd love to see us trade first round, trade up for a first round. Cleveland has first and fourth rounds. They need a running back. They need a quarterback. You mean, first, back. You mean first and fourth pick? Or first and fourth pick? I mean, yeah. So they need they need a uh, quarterback and they need a running back. So we can we can trade up somehow. Late on Bell, perhaps. All right, let me just throw a couple of things out. We just got a couple of minutes. A lot of folks waiting to get waited on here, and we're going to let them do what they need to do. And this guy is truly one of the best. Pittsburgh Barber School does a great job. Absolutely love it here at George's Old Fashioned Barbershop. Martavius Bryant, that possibility he could be in a trade mode. Uh, Eli Rogers' health after the ACL surgery. Darius Hayward Bay, maybe the best years behind them. Behind him, he has Antonio Brown still, meaning the offense of Mike Tomlin. What do you think about the possibility of maybe going after a wide receiver in the first round? Or do you think they're pretty much good to go there? I think they're pretty much good to go there. I think they're going to they're gonna look to address possibly first-round linebacker, um, safety, or uh, second round, possibly a quarterback, in my opinion, Mason Rudolph, if he's still available. Um, but there's so many good, um, possibly a running back. You have uh, Le'Veon Bell, who's been on the, uh, he's been franchised two years in a row, and he's not happy about it. So... I think, I, my personal opinion, I think it's going to be a linebacker first round. It's going to be a safety, perhaps second round. All right. if, uh, unless Mason Rudolph is still available. Mason Rudolph, the guy out of Oklahoma State who literally throttled mm -hmm. Pitt every time he played him. Mm -hmm. Offensive line, Chris Hubbard gone now with Cleveland. Gerald Hawkins, they said he is really work in progress. Ramon Foster, final year of the contract. Running back, he talked about Le'Veon Bell. Safety, well, if not in the first round, there should be plenty to choose from in the second round. But I really do believe inside linebacker is probably going to be their choice in the first round with Ryan Shazier gone. Here's something else you need to think about. Anthony Ciccolo received an original round tender, only ensuring his status for 2018. And then linebacker's Bud Dupree also right now in his fifth-year option. So a lot of things to look at, but I do believe linebacker is going to be the way they go in the Absolutely. first round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mark Eitler is George's Old Fashioned Barber Shop in Vanport. Don't forget, much more on the NFL Draft throughout the week and, of course, Sunday as well on the Coon Market Black and Gold Sunday Show. Good afternoon.